Okay, greetings. July 9th again. I'm going to do another two minute take. This time, I want to state my independent lens, my perspectives on why the student loan forgiveness debt has failed in public perception. And this is very significant and very important to understand. The obvious, should be obvious, is that 2020 changed America forever, changed the world forever with the pandemic and with this summer of love where um, hundreds of officers were assassinated and small business and communities across the country and the Democrats backed it. The Democrats backed the coup of 2020. It's obvious. Um, so with that framing in perspective, you lost the hearts and minds of not only conservatives but independents by aligning yourself with this violent, hostile coup saying we got to defund and abolish the police, kill the police was the tags on my buildings downtown. Not cool. Uh, this whole mantra in associated with critical race theory, critical gender theory, critical indoctrination theories, all of this bullshit and nonsense that's coming out of these uh, universities, it's now been associated with that violent coup in the hearts and minds of Americans. You've lost. You lost the leverage, you lost the framing, you lost the leaders because of this. The perception is it's pink haired, nose ring, liberal artists, and we're not going to pay for your effing loans. You took the loans out, you pay them, mofo. And this would not have been as intense blowback and hostility if there wasn't for this violent coup in the streets that nobody from the university stood up and said, Nah, not a good idea, guys. It was cheerleaded on, and that's what imploded student loan forgiveness in the hearts and minds of the public. Sad, but true.